What is up, foreigners, and welcome back to 2v2s Until We Lose, Season 3, Episode 3. High Flying and Boss Boy have been on fire in the first eight battles of Season 3, going 8 and 0. Oh. I'm your host, Donnie G9. Let's jump right into the first battle of the day. And they should be starting any second, and let's go. We're matched up. And Brian is gay and surprised from Bathroom Girls Clan. Level 11 Crown Tower. And we bring in the Lumberjack Fire Spirits. And we miss the Fireball and the Skarmy, but we were able to do some damage on their Princess Tower. All right, Goblin Barrel on that left side. Nice arrow. No damage have has been done on our towers. And we had the small push at the beginning, only getting some hits with that fireball. Alright, they're starting to leak some elixir as they place in the Tesla Tower for some early defense. And high our boss boy brings in the mini Pekka. See if they'll build up a push behind that. Yep, there we go. Royal Giant Dark Prince. It's raged up. Mini Pekka takes out the Tesla Tower. And the Royal Giant can start doing some work. Getting two solid hits. We need to finish off those minions. We miss the arrows. And they bring over the Goblin Drill. Dark Prince can defend this, but we have none in store. What a terrible zap by High Flying and Boss Boy. And the double log will... Stop that push, but we used up the two logs to have no defense for the Goblin Barrel. So they tie up the game. All right, we're letting the Elixir recharge. Let's see who uh, pushes first. Good battle so far. I think Boss Boy and High Fly needs to... They need to sync up here in the second half, and it looks like we're just waiting for times to elixir mini Pekka. We'll get a hit on the Tesla Tower, bring it under half health. Shouldn't be an issue now for them. All right, times to elixir, and they're leaking. Le uh, left side, we have the Royal Giant raged up with the Dark Prince Fire Spirit, and they drop in the Mega Knight. Royal Giant's able to get three solid hits. And the bats and minions take out the Mega Knight. Great defense. And we can log the Goblin Barrel on that right tower this time. There we go. Lumberjack, Goblin, Spear Goblins, and a Dark Prince. Lumberjack. Boom! Takes out that right tower. Great push. And we missed the zap again. All right, Royal Giant. I'm sorry, we do not have the zap. That's them missing zaps. They're just trying to guess. Skarmy guess. Alright. That log taking out the goblin barrel. They double fireball and boss boy and high fly and take this one. First battle of the day. With a 1-0 crown tower. And let's jump right into battle two. Matched up against Rosemar and Altaruoto from All Pro Clan. And they kick things off with the uh, Skeleton Barrel. Double Dark Prince, both level 13. And the E-Wiz will take out the, the Skeletons. Level 13, Royal Giant starting to do some huge damage on that left tower. Great push, taking out that Mega Knight, trying to defend... And we just have to deal with the Mini Pekka and Wizard. After that log took out the Dark Prince. And they have been unable to respond after that early push from High Flying and Boss Boy. All right, they have their Prince charged up with the Bats. Great Minion Horde. And the... Two princes will battle it out. Dark Prince coming on top for High Flying and Boss Boy. All right, we're letting the Elixir recharge, and they bring in the Wall Breakers and Skeleton Barrel. 
great fireball and awesome arrows. That was some good communication between High Flying and Boss Boys. They were able to defend the Wall Breakers and Skeleton Barrel perfectly. All right, they bring in the level 13 Dark Prince. He's charged up, and we bring in a Dark Prince of our own. All right, nice log. Doing some damage on the E Wiz and Wizard in the back there. And the Valkyrie will finish off the Dark Prince. As High Flying and Boss Boy have only been able to do damage in that first 30 seconds of the game. Times to Elixir. Let's see if we can do something here. They bring in the Skarmy. Nice log. And the Royal Giant should be able to do some damage. Only They're only allowing him to get a single hit. But we will take a great fireball on that. Decent push, and we finally take out the E-Barbs with the Dark Prince. All right, Spear Goblins raged up, and they get a hit on the tower. But the Valkyrie stops it. They bring in the Wall Breakers. Great defense by the Minion Horde, and the Bats stopping that push. 20 seconds to go. High Flying and Boss Boy have been perfect on their side, allowing no damage to be done on their tower but they still need to finish off that left tower to take the win oh and we missed the log but great e-wiz to clutch up the skeleton uh, barrel all right we have to deal with the mega knight and the e-barbs great mini pekka take that out and they have a massive push we're trying to keep this tower alive and they come back and take High flying and boss boy down in overtime as we fall short here in 2v2s and 2v2 lose season 3 coming to an end. High flying and boss boy finishing the season out at 9 and 0 or 9 and 1 taking their first early loss here in 2v2s and 2v2 lose. We'll catch you all next time. Thank you all for joining us.